In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create four and six figure good references. In today's video, I'm going to show you the basics of creating and reading four and six figure good references to pinpoint a location on an ordnance survey map. Make sure you check out my previous videos on the basics of ordnance survey maps. Good references are a really important way of pinpointing a specific location on a map. If you need to let someone know where you are, for instance, in an emergency situation when you're out walking in the countryside, then you could give them a really accurate location using a six figure grid reference. So what are the major differences between a four and six figure grid reference? Four figures is the simplest form of a grid reference. It will pinpoint an entire kilometer square on a map. Whilst a six figure grid reference is far more accurate. A six figure grid reference gives a location of a hundred meter square on a map. So how do we create these grid references? So let's look at a few different examples and go through how you can create four figure grid references. So in this first example, we're going to look at the car park and we're going to look at the basic process and principles you need to apply when creating four figure grid references. So we've got the car park. The first thing we're going to do is go along the corridor. So go along the bottom of the map. So we're going to go over zero one and then zero two. And when we get to that at point, we're going to go up the stairs. So again, we go up the stairs. So we're going up the side of the map. So four, one, four, two. So our first four figure good reference is zero, two, four, two. Our next four figure grid reference example is the public house, which is symbolized by a pint glass. So again, we're going to go along the corridor. So we go 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, and then we go up the stairs. So that's 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3. So again, our four figure grid reference for the public house is 0, 4, 4, 3. And our last example for four figure grid references is the campsite. So we're going to start off by going along the corridor. So that would be 0, 1, and then up the stairs, which would be four, four. So again, the campsite is zero, one, four, four. Now I've provided you with a map extract with several different symbols on there. So what I want you to do is try creating four figure grid references for the rest of the symbols on this map. I'm going to put all the answers in the description below. So let's move on to six figure grid references and six figure grid references are far more accurate compared to four figures. So we want to make them a little bit more complicated. So we're going to add an extra number. So let's look at our first example, which is the church. Again, we're going to go along the corridor. So it's zero four. We want to be more accurate. So we're going to go across one, two, three points. So the first number of part of our six figure grid reference for the church is zero four three. Then we follow the basic principles we learn in the four figure grid reference where we go up the stairs. So again, four, one, four, two. But again, we want to be more accurate. So it's four, two, three. Our six figure grid reference for the church is zero, four, three, four, two, three. Our second example for six figure grid references is the train station, which is signified by the red dot. Again, we're going to go along the corridor. So we go zero five and we want to be more accurate. So we add that additional number. So it's zero five four. Then we're going to go up the stairs. So we go four two eight. So the six figure grid reference for the train station is zero five four four two eight. Our final example of a six figure grid reference is going to be the star symbol, which signifies another tourist attraction. Again, using all the same principles we've applied so far, we're going to go along the corridor and up the stairs. So our six figure good reference for the tourist attraction would be 018418. Similarly to the four figure good reference sheet, I want you to attempt to create six figure good references for the rest of the symbols. 
Again, all the answers will be in the description below. So attempt to create these six figure good references and then check your answers. Thanks for watching. It'd be great if you could give this video a like and subscribe for more geography basics.